Hello YouTube, and welcome to a DBT Gamer Special. Now, this is something I haven't um, done in a while, and I'm also doing something new on this DBT Gamer Special. This is the first time I am talking about board games. I do own a few board games in my board game collection, and today I'll be unboxing one of my new board games, so off we go. The box is very large, so that's good. Although, postage for this board game was £5.50 from Forbidden Planet, which was quite a lot of money for postage, to be honest. And, wow, so much packing paper. More packing paper. More packing paper. <laughs> Well, if it's the sort of thing that you like. Oh, we've already kind of seen the box, I think. That is good. Yep. Yeah. One moment. Right, here's the uh, board game I bought. It's an Evil 2, the board game. Yeah, I ordered this off uh, Forbidden Planet. £63 this cost me. And. That was the cheapest price I could find online. Including the postage, it was about £68.50 ish. There were other places that were charging a lot more. Um, Traveling Man, £90. I don't see how they have the, um, what's the word, um, nerve to charge £90 when players are charging £60. That's way overpriced. Uh, one of the more. Um, Reasonable ones was a place in Pontifact, they were charging 70, which is definitely a lot more reasonable. So, if you're gonna buy this thing, get it as cheap as possible and possibly buy it online so you can get cheaper prices. Anyway, let's turn it over. So, there's a picture of all the um, contents. And the um, characters and the monsters. I bought this because I'm a really big fan of Resident Evil 2 and I really like the game. And I thought this board game would be fun to play with my friends and family. So, yeah. Right, let's open it. According to the box, the board game can take about 90 minutes to 120 minutes to play. So, roughly an hour and a half to two hours, which sounds about right. Okay, on to the inside of the box now. Uh, I like this so far. There's a thing that says this game comes on scenes of expressive violence and gore. This game is based off Resident Evil 2, the old version, not the remake. So it's in a more sort of classical style, which is nice. That's your um, sheet of paper. This is your rule book with all your rules, which is very nicely represented. And there's Leon there, and items you can get in the game. Herbs. Basic gameplay, all that sort of stuff, and all the stuff you need to know to play. Advanced rules, yeah. Ah, scenario booklet, yeah, the game has multiple scenarios, so here's some scenarios that we can play there. There is an expansion pack called B-Files, which gives you more scenarios to play with. There's also an expansion pack called um, survival horror. So, yeah. Sorry, I have a bit of cold today, but I am powering through it because don't let that sort of thing beat me. Uh, we have tiles. This appears to be outside of the police station and kitchen. I have to say the tiles are a little bit darker than I expected. Although I did see the see reviews it online, but yeah, it, this could be a little bit brighter. I know it's a horror game, so dark, you know, make things a bit more scary, but it would be nice if you could see them a little bit better. But other than that, they are good and high quality. Double sided, so that um, helps as well. So that's the. Um... Yep. 
Okay, door panel open. Oh, and a closed door panel, so that's good in stairs and that sort of thing. Okay. And here's some, some more. There appears to be like multiples of each one, which is good. I suppose if you lose one, you can you can um, replace it. That's nice. And spare pieces are always nice. And I suppose if you need to set up um, multiple places in the game with the similar environments or make your own custom scenarios, I suppose you could do that. Um, looks like here's some, um, the, the, I want to say the laboratory, yeah, it's probably the laboratory. Excuse me. And there's some, some, these are, now these little ones are like wall pieces. You've got the typewriters to save your progress, hearts, several door panels, and an umbrella panel. That's, um, probably very important. Aha! Ah, here we go, we've got your, um, health counters for your characters. Um, you got your, um, handgun ammo. Your shotgun, your grenade launch, your submachine gun. Well, like how it's all bullet based, that's nice. Um... See, there's two sides of there. Ooh, and here we have the monsters and the pieces. Excuse me. I am thinking about painting these because that might be a fun activity for me and Rachel to do together. Rachel's my girlfriend, and it will be a fun activity to paint things with her. And I'm not the best when it comes to painting small figures, so I may need a little bit of help when it comes to smaller things. One moment, I'll get some out and show you the more, more detail. Okay, this is one of the um, pieces here. This is a Cerberus. I have to say it's rather nicely sculpted. It's a little bit small, but it is big enough and it is rather well modelled and I do like it. It's decent. Okay, here are the zombies. The zombies come in three... Uh, types. you got a regular male zombie, uh, a police officer, or um, I'm gonna say army man sort of zombie, and also a female zombie. So yeah, I like the way that they've done that, you know they're both all sort of different types of zombies. That's really good. Right, you may have seen this in the background, this is the thing that Chief Irons turns into when he's infected with the G-Virus Parasite. This is a surprise to me. I, when I actually watched the um, board game reviews, they didn't really show off this figure, so I was surprised this was included, but it's a nice surprise, and it, it's rather gr grotesque and looks really good. And he, he is one of the most iconic bosses in the game. And here we have a pair of liquors. These look really good. I, I like the fact that they're in two pods. So you've got one that's just sort of crawling around the floor with its tongue out. Sort of just looking, patrolling, that sort of thing. And then you've got the other one who's, who's got his tongue right out. Claw at the ready, ready to jump at you and slice your neck off and then you are dead. But yeah, the kids are generally good. And now on to the final enemy. This is... William Birkin in his, I believe, his fourth form. Because the fifth form is like a wolfy dog sort of thing, and the sixth and final form is like a big blob at the end of the train. But this is the um, William Bo Birkin form you get in the box, and I have to say, it looks rather nice from the back and the front. And. <sighs> Really great, and I think the monsters are good. And it is nice that there's a nice selection and also a decent amount. You get at least two, four, six, 
8, 10, 12, about 14 zombies, 2 lickers, 1 Birkin, 1 Chief Irons, and then and 4 Cerberuses, or Cerberci. So yeah, anyway, on to the player characters. Rawr. Right, on to player characters. Uh, who should we go with first? I know, let's start with Ada. Ada! Um, this is Ada in, in a classic um, grey dress. Whoops, I meant to say red. Yeah. She, as far as I meant to as I'm concerned, she looks good. May have to paint her and make her look a bit, a bit more um, appropriate because the dress is grey at the moment. It needs to be red. <laughs> but other than that, she does look good. Let's hold in some a key in one hand there, gun in the other. Very nicely detailed and good. Uh, next we have Claire Redfield, the young girl who's looking for her brother, and she looks very nice in her short shorts and her traditional attire. They've even kind of got the uh, Made in Heaven logo on her, on the back of her shirt if you look very, 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 very carefully. So yeah, very nice sculpt. Then we have Leon here. Leon! <laughs> nope, no Ashley, but we got Leon. And it looks good. So that's great. Just turn him around. You can see the RPD star thing. It looks, oh, and it looks great. And the final character is Kendo from the gun shop. Who are you? What are you doing here? With his shotgun and his um, braces and his jeans, he looks. Yeah, he looks good. So, there we are all together. Oh no, I like the pair pieces, they're good. Here's some dice and some tabby things to put things together. I'll sort those out later. I might build one of them and show you them on camera. And there's two packs of cards. There's these small ones which are for like weapons and stuff. And these big ones are like for characters and events, I believe. I'll just open them and have a look through. Right, first thing, there's multiple handguns and, and knives, handgun bullets and herbs, keys, um, bowgun and more keys, red herb, green herb, first aid sprays, gems for puzzles and cables for windows. Ooh, grenade launcher, my old friend, I love you so much. It's always nice to make things go kaboom. And more keys, shell, shotgun shells, bogan ammo and more keys and health sprays. Ooh, actual upgrades for guns. That, that's the way I was not expecting, but that's nice. Keys. Keys, keys. Grenade rounds and stuff. Ooh, Magnum. One of this. Ooh, ink ribbon so you can save your game. Yes, there are multiple scenarios and so you can TV game is quite important, I suppose, and some cards on the other side. There's also the uh, mock pick, which is good. Blue card keys. Um, there's a mock pick, so giving me the master of unlocking some machine gun. Blue herb for poisoning. Eagle and wolf medallions. Uh, more ink ribbons, more cards, handgun bullets, and fuses, 
excuse me, Chase and Nitrous. Mo Magnamo, very important grenade launcher. And memo disc, yeah, so that's good there. Lots of a nice card. Right, on to the slightly bigger cards. Got Leon's character card here. Yeah. I like how the um tell you which weapons each character can use. And then you got the um each character has like their own special ability, like Claire, I believe that she can heal um other players, which is nice. Excuse me. You got Ada here, and then finally Kendo. So yeah, I do like the character cards. They're all very high quality. Then you got your, your enemy cards, your zombies, and then you got these sort of cards. You got your green one, which are all clear. Which means nothing bad is going to happen to you. Mr. X is not going to jump out at you and go, Hi, I'm going to punch you in the face now. And then I'm going to break every bone in your body. So that's good. There are some clear cards. Okay. Yeah, so you're all clear cards, then something's going to be okay. Nothing's going to attack you. they got like these yellow cards, which I believe are events and things that can happen to you. And you got the red cards, which can be... Also events, but slightly more um, dangerous events. For example, this one's called Countdown to Explosion, which means everything's going to go boom and everything, everyone's going to die if they don't move their butts. There's also like attack cards, like claw swipes and stuff like that. And different sorts of swipes for different monsters and different sorts of bad events. That you don't want to happen to you else your character's gonna die and then everything's gonna go wrong and then the entire world's gonna be to my zombies. And that's not good. And then we got the um enemy cards, you got your liquor, the evolved liquor, the Cerberus or zombie dog, the zombie, and the um more dangerously modified zombie. So yeah. So all the cards. Here is one of the uh, ammo counters assembled. Handgun is 15. It rotates quite nicely and it works pretty well. Quite happy with that. That's good. Just been looking through the box, it appears there's like um, things for status effects and like poison, that's good. Okay, time to close this board game video. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with the um, the board game itself. It's It looks good and I'm looking forward to playing it with my family and friends. Would I recommend this board game? Well, I haven't played it yet, but, you know, on my first impressions, yeah, I would. You know, if you're a fan of um, survival horror, and if you're a fan of uh, adventure games and, like, dungeon crawls and that sort of thing, and if you have, a, have at least um, two, two to three hours to spend, this would definitely be a good pick, and if you've got the right set of people, it can be a lot of fun. Now, as for the price, get it as cheap as possible because don't fall into the trap of going into a shop and paying like £90 because definitely not worth £90, guys. You know, no more than 65 Well, no, no more than 70 You know, that's your um, absolute maximum I'd pay for this. So get it as cheap as possible, but... Overall, I'm pretty happy with this, and I'm looking forward to playing with it. Um, I'm hoping to do more board game videos in the future. I have got a couple more Resident Evil board games. I've also got um, a My Hero Academia card game that I would like to show off. And I'll 
show off those in later videos. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Please like, comment and subscribe.